Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to use Adobe Digital Editions with your Nook Simple Touch or first generation Nook. To begin we're going to start at our website columbuslibrary.org. Scroll down on the home page until you see a blue box that says free library ebooks and click get started. This is going to bring you to the digital downloads page. From here we can start browsing for books. The easiest way to do this is to just click Advanced Search. From here we're going to select the format that will be compatible with our Nook Simple Touch. That format is Adobe EPUB. So if we drop down the Formats box we can just click Adobe EPUB eBook. And then down here at the bottom you're going to choose Available Now and Search. From here we can find a book and we'll just go with the top one. We want to make sure we're on the Adobe EPUB book line and click Add to Cart. We'll then select Proceed to Checkout. And we're going to choose our library, Columbus Metropolitan, and type in our library card number. From here we can choose our loan period. It will default to 14 days, but if you drop down here you can extend that to 21. Then we're going to scroll down and choose Confirm Checkout, and then Download. From here this book will download into we downloaded Adobe. our book into Adobe Digital Editions. When it first opens it will show you this view so you'll be able to actually read it from the software. If you want to see the library view though, you're going to click this little spines icon and that will show you the cover of the book with a banner that counts down how many days until it's due. From here we're going to plug in our Nook. You'll notice with your Nook Simple Touch or the first generation Nook that your power cord doubles as your USB cord. So we're just going to unplug that and then we're going to put in our USB port here. You'll give it a minute and you'll notice that your computer recognizes it. And Adobe Digital Edition should too. You'll know that it worked if the little Nook symbol shows up. If it doesn't, you can always just close out of Adobe Digital Editions and reopen it. And your Nook symbol should appear. From here we're ready to transfer the book onto our device. So you'll start by clicking on the cover and just moving it with the mouse. You'll notice it has a red X. If you hover it over your Nook symbol, it's going to turn to a green plus sign. You then just let go on the mouse, and now your book should be there. To safely eject your Nook, you'll go down and do Safely Remove Device, and then Safely Remove from E and F Drive. Now we can unplug our Nook and find our book to begin reading. To do that, we'll just wake our Nook up, slide, and then we'll hit our Nook symbol or the horseshoe and select Library. And you'll notice the help is right at the top. So we'll just touch that. And the book will open ready to read on your Nook Simple Touch. This concludes our tutorial on using Adobe Digital Editions with our Nook Simple Touch and first generation Nook.